Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? The Greek word for the term elect in our text means to select or to pick out for one's self. The elect, therefore, are those who God himself has chosen for himself. Oh, somebody should be praising God. The elect are those who God himself, not somebody else would have made the choice, but God himself. Well, you, know, you ladies do understand what I'm talking about. So you go to the, to the market and there's a pile, a heap of tomato. And you pick out from among that heap those tomatoes that you want for yourself. Those tomatoes that you put into your bag are special, they are hand -pick. Can I stop by to tell somebody this morning that you are not ordinary, you are hand by God. The God that knows everything, the God whose standard is high, you are hand -picked. But I look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I'm special. I am chosen. Can I talk to somebody? Oh, Sister Shania, I am royalty. Am I talking to somebody? Ah, because God himself has chosen me, not for somebody else, but he has chosen me for himself. And therefore the scripture says, who shall bring any charge against those who can criticize that tomato that I have chosen for myself and I am a professional in tomatoes I know what a good tomato look like so who can I talk to somebody here can bring any charge against the tomatoes that I've chosen I know what I'm looking for and I've chosen base and what I'm looking for can somebody praise God but I want you to understand that the mere fact that you are chosen by God makes you a target of accusation. But can any of those who accuse are those who bring accusation against you, can any of those accusations stand? The answer is uh, a resounding no because it is God who justifies my brothers and sisters friends the question here under consideration who shall bring any charge against God's elect this question has its grounding in a courtroom setting. The call is for the accuser, but there is none. And even if someone presents himself, he is considered non-existent because his arguments will not have any impact on the case. You see, the supreme judge of the highest court has acquitted us 
of all the charges. And if the highest court has acquitted us, then the lesser court cannot hold those charges against us. Walk with me here this morning. Regardless of the fact that the highest court has acquitted us, Satan has been trying to bring charges against us. The action of the devil is seen in Zechariah's vision. Zechariah saw Joshua, the high priest, standing before the angel of the Lord. And Satan standing at his right hand to accuse him. And the Lord said to Satan, the Lord rebuke you, O Satan. The Lord who have chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. Is not this a brand plucked from the fire? My brothers and sisters, I want you to understand that any court that is convened to judge you is a kangaroo court. Can somebody praise God here? It's a court that ignore the justice of God. And as such, it carries no official standing. Can I say to somebody that when when you are summoned by a kangaroo court, you don't need to attend the court, for that court has no jurisdiction over your life. Can I pray? Can I get somebody? Praise God here. Who shall bring any charge against God elect? It is God who justifies. It is God who acquits. It is God who places us in a position just as if we had never done anything wrong. Somebody clap your hands and praise God. The devil is bringing his accusation. Oh, but I can see in the spiritual realm when he goes before God and he bring whatever he called accusation to God about bracket. The Lord look at him and say, I repent rebuke you is not one is not bracket one that was saved by the blood of my son Jesus Christ the Lord rebuke you I can see the devil with his tail locked between his feet running away can I talk to somebody here it doesn't matter how many other legal representatives the devil get with him? And it doesn't matter how many other cases they have won. If they have never lost a case, when they go before the judge, the Lord himself, and take me before my judge, they are bound to lose the case. Clap your hands, somebody, and praise God. Therefore, I say to you, when the devil and his colleagues stands to accuse you, tell them, back off. C can you just lift your hand down and give the signal? Back off. Can I talk to somebody? You who are in your living room, bedroom, wherever you are watching this program, just lift your hand and give the signal. 
back off when the devil and his enemies stand to accuse you tell them back off take out the ruling of the most high God the ruling of the supreme judge the ruling of the sovereign God which is stamped by the blood of Jesus and said devil look at this back off oh God help me here today my brothers and sisters, we are more than conquerors because no charge can stand against us. I declare the word of God over your life which Isaiah prophesied, all who rage against you shall surely be ashamed and disgrace, and those who oppose you will be as nothing and perish. What can I declare one more time? If you missed it, is the word of Isaiah the prophet. All who rage against you will surely be ashamed and disgrace, and those who oppose you shall be as nothing and they shall perish because you are the elect of the Lord. Come on, somebody give the Lord some praise here in the house. Give the Lord some worship. Those who are annoyed, come on, lift your hand. Lift your hand. Those who stand against you shall be ashamed and they shall be disgraced. No accusation shall stand. Talk all you want to talk. Say all you want to say. But the judge of all judges has acquitted me. The most I court, my case went and thoroughly examined and when the judge saw that the blood of Jesus was upon and over my life he said bracket you are free you are free you are free you are free 